हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंद्रप्रस्था लॉ कॉलेज ग्रेटर नोएडा माय नेम इज़ ज्योति गौर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर यूनिट टू विद टॉपिक डिमांड एंड फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग डिमांड सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज डिमांड हेयर द मीनिंग ऑफ डिमांड डिमांड सप्लाई मीन्स अ कंज्यूमर डिजायर टू बाय गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस एंड विदाउट एनी हेजिटेशन एंड पे अ प्राइज फॉर इट इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी कैन से डिमांड इज द नंबर ऑफ गुड्स डेट द कस्टमर आर रेडी एंड विलिंग टू बाय एट सेवरल प्राइजेस ड्यूरिंग अ गिविन टाइम फ्रेम प्रेफरेंसेज एंड चॉइसिस विच आर द बेसिक्स ऑफ डिमांड can be described uh, described in terms of the cost benefit profit and other variables means in our day, daily life we often hear the word demand for goods and services and uh, in the business world uh, we can say the demand of a product determines its value and the profit or loss of a company so demand simply means a consumer desire to buy goods and services and without any hesitation and he is ready to pay a price of it so uh, the amount of a good that the customer picks up modestly relies on the cost of the commodity the cost of other commodities and the customers earning and his or her taste exactly so the amount of a commodity that a customer is ready to purchase and is able to manage and afford provided prices of goods and customers taste and preferences are known as demand for the commodity so uh, next is factors affecting demand first factor that affect the demand is the price of the commodity here inverse relationship exist between the price of the commodity and demand of that commodity it means with the rise in price of the commodity the demand of the commodity falls and vice versa in this uh, factor people use price as a parameter to make decisions if all other factors remain constant or equal we can say uh, if the if there is a uh, demand follows a reduction in price and uh, a decrease in demand follows a increase in the price of similar good so if the price of a commodity is increasing the demand of that commodity falls and the vice versa the price of the commodity if in the price of the commodity is decreasing the commodity increase next is uh, this is the curve show quantity demanded for the commodity and the price of the commodity next price of related goods cost of related goods and services means here uh, for a complementary product an increase in the cost of commodity will decrease the demand for a complementary product here we can take an example which shows that the price of related good uh can affect a uh, uh, demand of the product an increase in the rate of a bread will decrease the demand for butter means if the if there is an increase in the rate of bread so the demand for the butter is decrease because they are uh, complementary products similarly an increase in the rate of one commodity will generate the demand for a substitute product to increase here the example is increase in the cost of tea will raise the demand of a coffee substitute products uh, uh, case uh, the uh, increase in the cost of a tea will raise the demand of a coffee see uh, products are of two types 
or we can say goods are of two types substitutes goods and complementary goods substitutes goods are those goods which can be used in place of another good goods and give the same satisfaction to the con uh, consumer as uh, here we uh, give an example uh, of substitute good ki increase in the cost of a tea will raise the demand for the coffee and uh, therefore decrease the demand for tea complementary goods complementary goods are those goods which are useless in the absence of another goods and which are demanded jointly as we have uh, given example uh, here uh, of bread that uh, increase in the rate of bread will decrease the demand for butter now income of a consumer income of a consumer here means a rise in a person's income will lead to an increase in demand and the fall will lead to a decrease in demand for normal goods here there are three types of goods for normal goods with a rise in income the demand of the commodity also rises and vice versa shortly direct relationship exists between income of a consumer and demand of a normal good second is for inferior goods inferior goods with a rise in income the demand for the com uh, commodity or good falls and vice versa shortly we can say inverse relationship exists between the income of a consumer and demand of inferior goods third is for necessary goods for necessary goods whether income increase or decrease quantity demanded remains constant next is product cost demand of product change as per the change in the price of the goods or commodity people decide to buy a product remain constant if all the factors related to it remains the fixed unchanged taste and preferences of the consumers here taste preferences and habits of a consumer also influence the demand for a commodity they can demand according to their taste preferences and habits next is consumer expectation consumer ex expectation means high expectation of income or expect expectation in the increase of goods price also leads to an increase in demand and vice versa low expectation of income or low pricing of goods will decrease the demand next is buyers in the market if the number of buyers of a commodity or good is huge or less then there be a shift in demand if there are a huge number of buyers the demand increases and if there are less number of buyers then the demand decreases so there be a shift in demand thank you